so this was unscheduled, but we made samosas and then Trav, my film guy, says I have to make dipping sauce to go with the samosas. So, um, ta-da! So it's basically um, a hot, earthy, sweet, acidic sauce. So the base is just a neutral oil, but I'm gonna use a peanut oil. So the reason for peanut oil is that it has a similar viscosity to a neutral vegetable oil or a grapeseed oil, but because it carries a peanut flavor, that flavor provides a bit more texture to the end result. So a lot of this I'm gonna do off the stove just to show you basically um, it's a sauce in in two significant parts. So we're gonna start with oil and a tomato paste on the stove and whisking that until the oil separates. And then we're gonna apply the, um, the seasoning and the spice. So the base for seasoning is a sweet rice vinegar. So I'm using mirin because that's what I have. And then seasoning always means a little bit of salt. With this, we're going to also use some ground cumin, just for a bit of weight and an earthy feel, and then acidic spice. So amchur, which is the classic Indian um, dried green mango powder, which has a very soft acidity. I'm gonna double up with a little bit of sumac in there as well, because that's gonna create a little bit of tiered acidic structure. So I'm gonna put a teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of ground cumin. Am I moving too fast, Trav? No. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go a teaspoon of amchur, and then a teaspoon of sumac, and a little bit of red chili. Oh, I know, I always do this, but I'm gonna use two chilies. I have a video on this on the channel, but when you use multiple spices from the same um, category or, or the same type of spice but in different iterations you create this lovely scaffolding structural effect of that profile so to use two acids means I'll get a more fuller expression of acidity to use two heats means something similar I'm going to get a heightened feeling of heat but the texture that both of those spices donate means that um, my mouth will experience that heat um, with a little bit more um, density. So it doesn't burn in that very thin way that heat can burn where you use too much of one chili. Instead, you get resonance, you get heat resonance and the experience of something that's really delicious and spicy, but you can still consume it and taste it, which is really important because too much chili will literally burn out your taste buds. And then the whole point of the dish is kind of like, it's useless then. So a third of a teaspoon of a hot ground chili powder, a third of a teaspoon of a Kashmiri chili. Jaggery, I just need to, oh no, I've got it here. Jaggery sugar. Jaggery powder. I thought it was gonna go in at the stove. So I'm just gonna take this over to the stove top, but I'll do this bit here so you can see. So essentially to start it, it's just your oil. So like a quarter of a cup of oil into the base of the pan and match that with the same volume of tomato paste. And then you wanna bring that over to the stove with your seasoning and liquid mix. Have a little bit of pomegranate concentrate. So I didn't have tamarind concentrate and pomegranate is my natural swap. Um, there's a video on the channel that actually goes into tam tamarind um, and pomegranate and talks you through their similarities and their differences. So I'll put that link in the description. All right. I just want this on a medium heat and I'm actually gonna put a little bit more oil in it because I feel like it's not quite enough. What I want to do is bring this up to heat. It's starting to bubble. So it happens really quickly. So it's not too long of a process, but you basically want, can you see, I, I'm a bit hesitant to stop whipping, but you can see that it starts to get this rich red component. And that's the oil affecting the tomato paste and then that element splitting. And the colour change denotes a flavour change. So that's richness and sweetness coming through the base 
Now at this point, I'm gonna pop in my liquid with the spice. See how that's going to actually assist the process of drawing all of this sauce together. So this is the mirin or the rice wine vinegar. My acidic, earthy, hot spices in there. Now the last two components, you wanna add by um, assessing taste and texture as you add, because they're finishing a top note of acidity and that's your tamarind or pomegranate. I have pomegranate, like I said, with um, a very round sweetness. So this is a jaggery powder and jaggery has a much sort of more whole expression of sweetness than a refined sugar. There's a fatty, buttery element to it. Let me just taste this. Wow, that's already delicious. The tomato um, actually gives it an acidic quality, so it's quite rich. And the heat is very subdued, which is interesting because I put quite a lot of chili in there and the acidity is quite forward. So I'm actually gonna put all of that in there. And then just match with a little, that was about a teaspoon, pomegranate molasses and a couple of pinches of the jaggery. Pretty jazzy. It's actually not that hot though. It's coming together. It does actually look like a chutney, doesn't it? <laughs> I'm exhausted. <laughs> so the trick is you um, essentially, once the mix cools, you can whisk it together. So while heat's still being applied, the, the oil and the, the paste um, is going to continue to separate. So now that this is cool, you can see it's really glossy. It's kind of emulsifying where it wasn't before. Right. So let me just clean up my bowl. Yeah, so that's, um, it's really delicious. It's uh, tangy. It's tangy and rich, um, but it's still really contained to the central space of the mouth. So that's all of the texture in there that holds it, holds it in. A lot of the time when you use um, high acid, high heat, you get that very kind of firework effect of your mouth kind of exploding in a million different directions. Um, but this is, is beautiful and rich and a little bit silken and quite contained. And so I think it's gonna work. With the, with the samosa. So the idea is that you take your samosas you've made earlier and just give it a go. Yeah, oh my God, those two together. The, the chili and the samosa um, kind of really kind of reaches into that sauce and it's, it's, it tastes of, of, of that very sort of fibrous tamarind acidity, which is so delicious. It's brown, I know that sounds ridiculous, but you know when you get those very delicious brown, glossy, cooked down um, condiments or dipping sauces? It's incredible. It's just that the sauce makes the samosa better and the samosa makes the sauce better and vice versa. You don't wanna do one without the other. Yeah.